Hello everyone. My name is Alpa Rupala and today we are going to learn about data visualization. In this, today we are going to cover the topic reading the data from the standard text file and reading the data from the standard CSV file. So basically what is the standard text file? So any plain file, we can call it as a text file which is having the extension as .txt. It is also being referenced as a standard text file. So basically what is our concern in this topic? So ultimately we are having our text file as a browser data or we can say that our text file is residing at a web browser. Now our concern is to read this file and then uh, into the HTML page, HTML web page. So whatever the content of your text file which is residing on your web browser that we want to read to your HTML web page. This is our main concern. So there are numerous method for reading the data from a text file but we are having one good function of a JavaScript that also being called as a jQuery which is a light weighted write less and do more JavaScript library. So this particular library is very handy and uh, we can say that it is uh, incorporating the Ajax and XML both. So what is the Ajax? The full form of Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So we are going to use the jQuery Ajax method for reading the content from the web server. So we can add our jQuery using two method. So the first method is download the jQuery in your library from the jQuery.com website and then after use that jQuery with the head script tag src jQuery whatever the version is then after dot mean dot js. But we can also include our jQuery using the CDN which is the content delivery network just like Google. So for that we can use the script src https ajax.google apis.com slash ajax slash libraries slash jQuery then after slash whatever the current version and then after slash jQuery.main.js. So this we don't need to download it or uh, we don't need to store it in our PC that will get the content online. So it is must that you are having the uh, internet connectivity at the time of you are turning this code. So example first of all we are taking the sample txt file then after we are including our jQuery library and then after we are using the get method. Now what is the get method? So it is ultimately Ajax method the HTTP get request. So the syntax of your get method is dollar dot get and then after in a first argument URL comma callback. Now what is the URL? It is specified as the URL from which or from whatever web server page you want to download your text file. So whatever your text file will, uh, at, stored at uh, the web server, that server URL link will be provided in a first parameter argument. And then second one is callback which is ultimately optional but whatever your data or a reading of your text file that will be stored in your function. And that will be executed if the request is succeed. So this is the normal get function syntax. Now we are going to use this all method in our program in which we are having the sample txt.txt file and we will use the jQuery get method. So let us go to the programming. So here you can see that this is our sample txt.txt file in which I am having the line 1, line 2, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Now this is my reading text file in which first of all we are having the HTML then in a head we have used the script tag in which we have assigned the jQuery path and it is the online so it is what CDN. Now the body portion in a body portion we have taken one button 
the button is containing on click event which is calling the my function on clicking it so the button value is try it now we have taken one div and the id of this div is container now after this we have taken one script tag in this script tag we have created one function my function which we have used in our on click event now we are using our jquery dot get method in which this first one is url now how we have get this url that i will tell you then after the second one is function and this is the data so whatever content you are having in your sample txt file that will be shown or stored in this the data format so we can see this by one alert message just that whatever the data is contained so just i am commenting this line so to run this particular code and to get this url our data must be on a web server so ultimately right now we are not having any web server and this file is already residing in my local pc so what we will do we will go to the uh, google web server we will create one web server and on that we will store our data and from that web server we will fetch our data and so this is the our user defined created url of a web server so how you can create the url so for that first of all we will uh, we need to go to google now in a google i am writing web server for chrome as a search option now in that i am opening the web server extension okay i have already installed it but after installation you will get the same output okay so i have already installed it so i am just launching the app so launch app okay so this is my web server okay now in this okay let me minimize this okay now you can see that this is my web server i need to choose the folder from this choose folder button wherever my files are residing so my all the files is under the program unit 2 folder so i have chosen that folder okay then after this run in background accessible on local network and automatic show index these three all check boxes must be ticked now we are importing uh, uh, entering our port number that is 8080 after completing this all we need to restart our web server okay after restarting you are getting this url yes so you will copy this url and you will paste this url at this location and after that slash your sample txt dot text now for running this code we must need to click from web server url only so from web server url this first one i am clicking on it so this is my all file contained in my uh, program unit 2 folder so this my file name is reading text file in jquery so i am clicking on it so click the button to display the array value so i am try uh, clicking on this try it button okay so it is alerting me with the pop-up box all the data of my file but you can see over here that it is containing the slash and value because it is just a data in normal format but our web page that is our website or uh, web page it uh, it is using the html language but html language doesn't understand slash and it must understand for a new line it use br tag so that i can show suppose i am using the dollar this is the selector in which I am selecting the ID of my container using the hash container. Okay, then after I am just using the one method of HTML that is the send this or set this content to the HTML and in that I am just writing my the data, whatever containing in my the data variable. Okay, so we are using our 
hash tag container dot html the data so we are just representing our code so now i am running this code using my web server okay this is my file try it okay look here we are not having any slash n because it will not understand your slash n so for that we must need to use this code in which we are replacing every slash n by br we are replacing every slash n by br so this is your dollar container this is what your selector on the selector we are applying the html method on that on the data variable we are applying the replace method in which we are replacing all our slash n with the br tag so this is our output we are just running our code again okay i am refreshing it try it okay so this is our output now same way suppose i am having the csv file so this is the content of my csv file so csv file is a comma separated file so here i am having the equal number of comma separated uh, data a b c d e up to y and all are equal uh, equally separated now we can have the same code just we have replaced our sample csv with the dot csv sample csv dot csv now in here we have used the same code like on your html method we are applying our the data with the replacement of slash n but this sample dot csv file is containing comma because the values are other than comma so we need to separate it using the split method so this is the output okay we need to run this code so for that i am using this okay this is my csv file and i am trying it okay so all the data of the csv file without a comma and in a new line will be given over here so this is about the reading of your csv file learn about the reading the data from the text file and csv file so the sample.csv file we have already seen thank you